What up, what up, good people? Did shorts cover? No? What are we talking about? All right, so everybody's hit me up. You know, Bigums, Bigums, did you see his video? Did you see? I mean, of course I saw it. You know what I'm saying? I saw what he was saying. Um, and I seen uh, that the CFTC is basically saying, you know, no fault for any of these lames that, you know, mishandle their money, you know, and make bad plays. We're going to just have a no fault, no, 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 no wrongdoing for you guys. What? Wow, interesting. So y'all just sweeping shit under the rug. Now, when y'all fuck up, don't come crying to us talking about, oh, we're, we're the criminals. Nah, y'all's the one that we watching y'all with your heel, on your heels, okay? And this is not nothing to do with AMC. This ain't got nothing to do with it. This is just the money, okay? Y'all fucking up, okay? Just FYI. Now, um, also, regarding the Gary Gensler thing, um, you know, it's a damn if you do, damn if you don't situation, really. That's really what it is. And my, my thoughts on that is it's just a damn if you do, damn if you don't. Because, you know, yeah, he, he's explaining that they just been sweeping shit under the rug. Like, he got a video. He got a video on Twitter that they, it, it basically explains that they've been sweeping shit under the rug. And then, boom, all of a sudden he gets an internal investigation and now they want him out. Because, see, like I said, it's a damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know, this guy's been ignoring and giving small fines to the best of his capability. However, you know, he sprinkles a little truth on some of them videos. And sometimes they don't want that information out. Okay, because a lot of this shit is connected to AMC, GME, other tickers. Okay, so on to this though. So I saw your video, Frankie, and um, I want to say, you know, you got to be careful, especially with who you're listening to, because yeah, I ragged on Clay, bro. I did. I only thing I said on Twitter for those that want to know, all I said was, ha ha, holy fuck, it's Clay, bro, because I ain't seen him in like a minute, because I had to unsubscribe. Why? Because last year, Clay, bro, broke the ape code. What was the ape code, Phil? Well, we're we're not taking any type of, you know, money or promoting any type of broker on YouTube, you know, for for money. We're not doing any of that, bro. At least me. You know what I'm saying? That understood the, the oath of the ape. I understood that oath. Clay bro, unfortunately, broke that code. So every time you hear his video, he's going to have a damn disclaimer. You know, let's get started. You know, and I'm just like, okay, bro. Mm, I can't really deal with this. And then he, you know, talking about this man went on a, a what was that, that ticker he went into? He was talking about some type of crypto. He just kept talking about it. I'm like, yeah, this dude is definitely getting paid to talk about this shit. So every time I see Clay, bro, mention anything, okay, I know he's doing it for profit. Now, he may not do this particular thing for profit, but the way he described this video, he made it sound like AMC shareholders are the victims. No, we're not, bro. We're not. How are we the victims when majority of the shareholders voted yes? Y'all call us yes influencers, yes zealots. How are we how are we victims when we are giving sixteen billion dollars to the CEO? His intention is going to be to pay the debt off because yeah, choke on that, checkmate, everything. He he letting them know straight up. Look, once I get this money. Once I get this equity, oh yeah. Well, I'm sorry, capital, whatever. Once I get this cash, good night. Good night. I'm debt free as a company. A company that we're invested in. So, like I said, you had to be a real ape in order to enjoy the Moaz. That's the way that everything looks. And everything, like I said, everything that the no crowd is saying, it just don't work out in their in their direction. It just seems like I'm complaining, 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 complaining. And it ain't just Frankie, you know what I'm saying? It's other people that there's that it's a lot of people. I'm just not gonna mention them because I just don't feel like they worth my time. Now, Frankie, the reason why I mention you often is because I feel like you're being bamboozled, and I know you're a real ape. However, I feel like you're being bamboozled 
because the money getting low you're hearing other youtubers saying certain things but remember bro they getting paid to say some shit remember that never forget when you played that video he had a disclaimer for payments to make sure he get his money do you understand so if if adam aaron gotta make, can't make sure he get his money how come clay bro can huh think about it that's all i gotta say about that like like i said i don't like the way he described and terror capitals is gonna give gonna give them 16 billion and blah 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 blah, blah. Well, that's our squeeze money no that's not our squeeze money like i said due diligence is going to win in the end that's why because like i explained in my earlier video today 14 trillion dollars 14 trillion point five whatever plus synthetic shares once ape closes which is what i've been saying since january december or whatever i've been saying they were scared of this sham sacrifice where the short sellers will be like Ooh, look at this no voter look at that no voter look at this no voter they're saying they're gonna get out yes we got a chance to like short 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 right there we got a chance and then when they have to go fill in the rest of those shares how they gonna fill them how they gonna fill them how it don't matter if they got one share to fill if they can't fill them shares because people like me, a yes voter, okay, people like me that's holding it, how y'all gonna fill it if you can't get it from me? Which is why I say, hey, hedgies, hey, short sellers, you need to fill in those shares, come through. I sell it to you, but it ain't gonna be what you want. And if you don't like it, come do something about it. It's simple, very simple. They're robbing us. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> yeah everything on me baby so like i said you ain't what you want to do short sellers you know but anyways uh what i was gonna say here like i said i understand that clay bro said some things for you frankie that you know it resonates with you because you feel like you're a victim because you don't want 90 percent of your shares going a certain way and as I mentioned before, this thing is getting so tight that there might not even be, okay, a reverse stock split if everything goes the way I believe it may go because they, there possibly could be a fake run up, okay? Could be, why? Because they need to locate ape shares. They need to locate, which is why they actively have two YouTubers coming on YouTube telling everybody what to do. And telling everybody, hey, look, this is the play over here. And making it seem like, oh, this play right here is going to be this. And this, 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 look at this. That's why I call them Jeepers Creepers. You know, he come tell you some shit. And then as soon as you don't make no money with Clove, you know what he does? I got you, motherfuckers. Yeah, he been pulled out. He been pulled out. Been pulled out. So since we want to talk about victims... Let's talk about those victims that believed in him when it came to Clove. I didn't believe him because I was like, Clove? Who's the majority share? Oh, Citadel? <laughs> Fuck that. But he made it, he came on here to tell y'all, hey, look, make some money with Clove. You can go and make some money over here. <laughs> that, that shit went up a few, a few dollars and cents, and then he pulled the fuck out. And then everybody was just holding and holding and holding it. And he make a video talking about, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, motherfuckers. Laughing. I'm surprised ain't nobody flatlined his ass. So, like I said, uh, you go away, you go, y'all go the way y'all want to go. Me and 80% of the real apes that's looking at this shit, looking at everything, putting out information that you can see with your own eyes. Nobody's going out here talking about, let me explain why we got stabbed in the back. No, you can't use wording on us. You can't finesse us, bruh. It ain't working. It ain't worked on the judge. That's why I said it's going to be dismissed because both parties look crazy. Both of them look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers looking crazy. 
which is why AMC was like, look, we'll we'll, we'll go with the settlement. We'll, we'll we'll give you whatever what you want. We're, we're trying to just we just we just want to make this shit hurry up and go. But we've been held back by all these motherfuckers preventing us from getting our Moaz because it's crazy. But because see, here's the thing: you know you go Moaz, you just think, oh, I got thousands or hundreds of shares. I want to Moaz with that. I don't want to Moaz with. 50 shares or 60 shares. I don't want to Moaz with that. Why not? I don't see why not. But, you know, like I said, this is a different situation because the community in a entire effort here, we, we came together and said, you know what? Never again. You shorted Toys R Us to the ground. You shorted Sears to the ground companies that were thriving doing pretty well and then you shorted it to the ground and they went to bankrupt bankruptcy that's why everybody's in this play so for those that's like i just want to make money i just want to make money i mean come on you don't already make money or is you sitting around starving every day you tell me because ain't nobody just sitting around starving every day unless you're just a fucking idiot but like i said i get it you know some people want to make their money back and go get out and this and that Look, all I'm going to say is this. The moment you do that, just don't come back to YouTube talking about AMC. You can talk about whatever else you want to talk about. But just remember, you're going to be labeled as a shill that keeps talking about our play once you get out of our play. If you have no interest in our play, don't talk about our play. It's simple. And... Uh, I'm riding with the 87, man. I'm the 87, baby. Straight up. Ride till I die, yeah. Lord knows I stay high and I love it. Yeah, yeah. And I love it. Yeah, shout out to Jeezy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's just what it is, man. But I know some people, some people can't trust. Some people say it's hard to trust people. I have a feeling that I, I trust this person. I trust the CEO. Is it at 100%? Nah. Because, I mean, it is a CEO, you know, and we are putting money in his hands. However, I believe that, you know, once the money gets in his hands, he pays off the debt, closes ape, watch the fireworks. Watch the fireworks. And who knows what could happen with this new CFTC thing that's happening, you know, just doing idiotic shit. So if it Moazes, sure, but the criminals are still going to be out there, just so you know. That's what that CFTC notice was or that, that letter was, basically. It's basically saying, hey, sure, you can Moaz. But we'll still let the criminals in the market, which is why many people are not going to be in the market after any of this. After any of this, any American or any person in any other country, if you get into the American stock market, you're, I mean, it's up to you, man. You can, you can do all of that you want, but there's other ways to make money, people. There's other ways to make money, okay? You don't have to sit here, stress out, you know, and, you know, get upset we told you why you're being manipulated, not because of the CEO, you know, doing X, Y, Z. That shit ain't got nothing to do with your shit going the way it's going. Your shit supposed to be flying right now, already flying right now. But Allegheny came in. Oh, we want to sue because of the reverse stock split. Well, just remember when this judge make her decision and say, Dismissed with prejudice Ain't no appeals So all you shills out there that says Oh yeah we could appeal I'm stopping you right now Ain't no appeals bruh Ain't no appeals This is, the, this is it This is it So cancel out all the fud Fuck the clowns Fuck them all Shout out to the 87 Yeah and did the shorts cover No <laughs> Fuck we talking about yeah.